Minimalism is a style of art from the 1960s and 1970s. And there are a lot of people that think it's a big joke, but I don't think so. As we look at this piece by Yves Klein, it's called IKB 191. And it's just blue paint on a canvas. But that blue is really electric. It really stands out. There's something about it that grabs our attention. And the people who were doing minimalist art were interested in making simple, bold statements. Their work was elegant and pristine and not full of other things to kind of distract you. So it was very focused and some might even say formal. So they would focus on one or two art elements. Like in this piece by Kazimir Mal Malevich, we see black square and it's just that, a black square with a little bit of crackle happening in the middle of the square. I'm not sure that the crackle is necessarily important to the work, but as a viewer, you're supposed to get close to the work, let the color sort of seep into your consciousness and see what it does to you, and everyone's reaction will be different. You might think that's baloney, but that's really what the artists were hoping you would do, to take the time and meditate on what it is that they were creating. And these columns by Anne Truett, they're just columns that sort of stand there in a bold, striking color. And sometimes she would stripe them with a couple of colors, but it was all about this form, this elegant prism, just sort of standing there. And what does it do to you? What do the colors remind you of? It was supposed to be very simple, almost like a, a very simple poem. Um, it wasn't supposed to overwhelm you with all sorts of textures and colors. They were focusing on one art element. When we look at Rianji, um, the dry garden here in Japan, we might get a sense of what they were trying to achieve. The Japanese artists or gardeners of this time would just rake rocks into simple patterns and get us to sit there and meditate and kind of become one with, with our subject. And that's what the minimalists were trying to do as well, getting us to communicate on a very simple, basic level with the art elements and to notice those things around us. And minimalism would even leak into things like um, architecture. So we can see this glass pavilion by Steve Herman, and it's very beautiful. It's very simple. We see these elemental structures, this glass pane that kind of fills the space. The materials are beautiful, simple, and pristine. So when you think of minimalism and you hear somebody just call it a joke, tell them they might just be missing something even more important that they need to get down to basics and understand the simplicity of what the artists are trying to say. It's almost like poetry, but in art.